Horizontal analysis is an analysis technique that calculates the change in an account balance from one period to the next and expresses that change in both dollar and percentage terms. Horizontal analysis is a simple but powerful analysis tool. It reveals significant changes in account balances and therefore identifies items for further investigation. So remember we're looking at Best Buy and comparing them to HH Gregg when we get to the comparisons. So here is the asset section of Best Buy's balance sheet using horizontal analysis. The idea behind horizontal analysis is to analyze changes in accounts occurring between years. So to facilitate this analysis, dollar changes and percentage changes in each item on the balance sheet are often provided. First, the dollar change is calculated by deducting the prior year balance from the current year balance. So I always think ending minus beginning. Then the dollar change is divided by the prior year balance to determine the percentage change in account balance, or in other words, ending minus beginning divided by beginning. Changes in the income statement for Best Buy can be analyzed in a similar fashion. So you see the dollar change and the percent changes for every line item on the income statement. Vertical analysis is an analysis technique that states each account balance on a financial statement as a percentage of a base amount on the statement. In other words, vertical analysis compares financial statements of different companies and financial statements of the same company across time after controlling for differences in size. When comparing companies of different sizes, it's useful to standardize the statements. Also, vertical analysis shows the relative importance of each account to the company. So here's Best Buy's balance sheet using vertical analysis. So all that means is that we've added this percentage column after each year of financial data. So notice that all asset accounts are stated as a percentage of total assets. Similarly, all liability and stockholders equity accounts are stated as a percentage of total liabilities and stockholders equity. Or you could just say those liabilities and equity accounts are stated as a percentage of total assets as well because we already know from that the balance sheet has to balance which means assets have to equal liabilities and stockholders equity. So that means those are always going to be the same. Now changes in the income statement can be analyzed in a similar fashion using vertical analysis. All accounts are compared to the total revenues. So here we can see that when we compare um, the net earnings from the income statement year over year from Best Buy using vertical analysis, you can see that they were still profitable in 2010, but not as much. That net earnings as a percentage of revenues went down from 2.7 to 2.5%.